uh, so the, the people who rate you, uh, do they also have to log in or anyone can just come and rate you? Okay, everybody has to log in. So they have to open an account? Yes. And that's very simple. It's just like Google. You just uh, put in your email and password, and you're in. So why not uh, have a login, which is like you know, login through Facebook, or you know, these days all the websites have it. Yeah. Where you log in via uh, another social media. Uh, okay. Okay. So we've uh, done the experience of free learning resources, and uh, it's just happening very, very smoothly. Uh, we've got a huge number of people who registered on free learning resources. We've had international authors coming in and offering free stuff on free learning resources. And some of the top trainers in the world, some of the top trainers from India are coming there. And this system seems to be working smoothly. Another reason is that we're asking them for a lot of optional data. For example, their telephone numbers and their addresses, and many people are giving that to us. So we think that's very valuable information that we want to capture. So, so far, this system seems to have lots of advantages with no real disadvantages. So that's why we haven't thought of offering a login through a social media site. Uh, Rishi, do you want to add something? No, um, it's always something that uh, we can look at, but we decided we'll put it for later. But the suggestion is valid, uh, but as, is, as we experienced from freelance resources, <coughs> it looks like people are happy to talk that information up anyway. So based on that info, we proceed with this. And we're not asking for much information. So if it's uh, freelance resources on the site, the email address, uh, password, and just to know whether he's a trainer or learner, we're asking him whether he's a trainer or learner. That's it. Apart from that, no other information is compulsory. So it's very smooth anyway. So as Rishi says, he's a trainer and a learner, so he takes on both, is it? No, a, tra a trainer is a trainer as well as a learner. Whereas a learner is not a trainer. Uh, a trainer, for example, in free learning resources can upload stuff as well as download stuff of other trainers. But a learner can only download stuff, he cannot upload stuff. So a trainer can do everything. Whereas the learner has limited uh, so functionality. Uploading, uploading stuff is vetted by you or? Yes, it is. Yes. So we had uh, some instances of duplicate uploads. Uh, we had uh, some uploads of stuff which just didn't make any sense. I mean, articles written by somebody, but well, that's not good enough for our learners. Uh, we have got international best selling authors putting up their chapters. Uh, for example, we had Chris Griffiths, who is the chief executive of Think Museum, putting up the first 32 pages of his best-selling book, Grasp, on it. Uh, Grasp is a book which reached number two on Amazon in the business segment, as soon as it was launched. So it sold very well, and Chris Griffiths is a very, very well-known name. Uh, we also had Tom Butler Bowden, another big international best-selling author. He's put a uh, chapter of his book, uh, 50 great psychology classics, 50 psychology classics. So he's written plenty of these books, 50 psychology classics, 50 philosophy classics, 50 self-help classics, 50 success classics. So he's, he's really a big international author. Uh, so we've got uh, these people on. So how do, you, how do you measure whether that data is correct or not to put up? What skill do you have to vet that? Uh, we don't propose to have, we, we don't uh, pretend that we have any skill. So if somebody just does upload stuff which is not correct. No, he may, uh, be, and he may be uploading it for his training perspective. No, he comes as a trainer. At the end of the day, he perceives and he sees that as a value. Now, as on the other side, the subject may call for that information to be there or not to be there. I mean, who decides? I mean, how do you decide? Okay, so we want to have a, a glance at what is put up. And if it appears to be something that we think the learners want to read, and it is relevant to his profile, then we're going to allow it. It's subjective. It is subjective, yes. And, and we are very clear that we are not responsible for, you have to write the stuff yourself. So. It's, it's a reader, beware, or by beware. But we do whatever we can on the best of least. So as the volumes go up, how do you propose to manage this yourself as, you know, somebody to vet it, somebody to do this? I mean, how would you do it? How no. do you scale up when you're looking at it as a model? 
the bottleneck as I see it is going to be the wetting part because A, the wherewithal to do it and B, you can't scale up if there is one person who is going to wet it. There may not be one person who is going to wet it. We might have a team of others. So, uh, so, so we, we, uh, we will uh, look at expanding the number of people who is going to who are going to wet it. But as of now, the credibility of the people who are coming in is extremely high. So wedding is very, very easy. And people like Chris Griffiths, top authors, uh, top trainers, training providers, like Preeti Gupta has uploaded something. We've had uh, other top trainers from India, Anil Dagger has uploaded something. Uh, so uh, there is a Guinness uh, World Record holder called Mr. Nishant Kasi Butler from Singapore. He's a memory world record holder. He's uploaded something. So these are people with very, very high credibility. And also, if there is that much volume, it's good news. Yeah, so, I'm so, saying it is good because so, so I'm so looking at from that perspective. More people is is not a is not a, it's not, not going to have a uh, you know a side effect or anything. It's it's only it's like if there's too much traffic on the website, that's good news. So it's worth upgrading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's good. It, it's good. I'm saying it's good. I'm saying from that perspective that it will be good, but. It has its own set of issues in terms of managing with money. I mean, where is the revenue going to come from? Who's going to manage it? Do you have the resources to back it? So, what really happens is if you can't do it, then it falls apart. Yeah, but we don't, we don't think it's such a big problem because it is fairly simple to quickly understand whether stuff is quality stuff or not, number one. And number two, whether it's revenue stuff or not. It really doesn't take too much analysis. You know, and ultimately, the leader doesn't want to give us feedback anyway. So <laughs> we, 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 could, we could dump it or disallow it. How can we get some feedback from, say, a quality leader like Piti Gupta or Menosh? Say, say Menosh is uh, into wealth planning and there's something on financing and he is able to point out something. I say, great, uh, fine. And maybe some people have downloaded it, but now we think we change the mind about the quality and we, we can take it out. It, it, it's, anyway, it's anyway a much better process or much better vetting than Google anyway. Then people are going on Google and they're going on Wikipedia, and well, all that is worship of vetting. Here at least you have some level of vetting. And here you have the name of the person who is uploading the stuff there. So his reputation is at stake too. So there are a lot of filters already in place. You have plenty of stuff on Google, you have plenty of, in, of stuff in newspapers. There, in, in some cases, the name of the person who's written it is not mentioned. In many cases, the name of the person who's written it is mentioned, but you don't know his background. That's one of the first things I look at when there's some article on science or something. And the first thing, I, I don't want to read the entire stuff and then discover there's some joke who's written it. So the first thing I do is look at who's written it. And if there is some background, if there's no background about the person who's written that article on, say, science or about the brain or about creativity or something, then I take it a pinch of salt or, or I don't read that article at all. Here, you see who's putting it up. I think that's huge. So that's that's number one, that's a number one filter and we, we have the number filter. But the, the number filter is on best of basis. We're not legally responsible at all for the country. Okay. Okay, great. So let's uh, look at the time now. It's three past seven. So we know. Seven thirty. Seven thirty.